What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Eddie Vedder. Yes, indeed. Eddie Vedder fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Mark Colley, Abraham Esparza, Salai Mutiara, and Daniel C. They all want to see me react to this song by Eddie Vedder with Betcha Dupa. I guess that's a band. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Eddie Vedder and Betcha Dupa performing a song called I See Red. Now, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard this song before. I, I don't recognize this. Uh, it doesn't strike me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a chance I may have heard this by accident, and I just don't know it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, oh yeah, I recognize this song. I, I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Bill O. Wright's 111 and the video has 60,050 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the video in the video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Eddie Vedder and Betcha Dupa. I see red. Clip split ends. Whatever that is, I have no idea. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Oh, man. This video looks like it's going to be rough. Really rough. All right, let's go. Wow, um, the energy's there. The energy is definitely there. I'm loving the feel on this. It, I don't know if I would go as far as to call this punk, but it definitely has some punk feel to it. Uh, very straight ahead, uh, based around single chord, just chunking on that chord, a lot of downstroke picking. Um, but at the same time, I'm getting almost like... Almost like a. <laughs> Maybe it's me. I this is probably just me, and I'm just being weird. I'm almost getting like a '50s rock vibe from this. Almost, in particular from the from the the strumming pattern from the guitar. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, I, don't, I don't know. But I, I'm kind of getting that vibe a little bit. I, I don't. I I can't explain it, but that's what I'm feeling. Anyway, let's let's keep going here. Hey, I'm up with 
Okay, so I guess their lead vocalist came in and started singing with Eddie Vedder there. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of his voice. I think I like Eddie Vedder's voice better. <laughs> Not trying to disrespect the the uh, Betcha Dupa at all, but I, I, I think Eddie Vedder sings, I, I think his vocal style is fitting this song a lot better than the lead singer is. Um... I'm still digging the feel of the song. I'm digging the energy. I'm digging the speed of the song, the tempo. Um, it's a, it's dirty, but it's supposed to be dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, this is not supposed to be a, a super clean, you know, no for no perfected masterpiece. Now this is, this has got the feel of, of, like I said, it's got those punk feels and it's supposed to be dirty. And it is, but it's appropriately dirty. It's not overly dirty. So, like that guitar solo was a perfect example. Was the guitar solo perfect? No, you. It was a little. It was. A, there was a couple of flubs. But I now were those flubs intentional? They might have been. If you think about it, considering the style of song, he may have intentionally put those flubs in there. So, I don't know. I guess we'll never know. I see red. I see red. I see red. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was fun. Not over, it wasn't impressive, but it was fun. It was fun. Good times. Good times had by all. Well, there you go, folks. That was Eddie Vedder and Betcha Dupa with I See Red. Uh, this was a request from Mark Colley. Abraham Esparza, Salai Mutiara, and Daniel C. All right. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 7.3. Yep, 7.3. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? This song is not meant to be Rush's 2112. This song is not meant to be uh, Jimi Hendrix's All Along the Watchtower. This is not supposed to be Ted Nugent's Stranglehold, okay? This is not supposed to be a masterpiece, all right? This was dirty. It was, in some places, sloppy. Uh, and it was fun. 
And I think that's the whole point of this, is it was meant to be fun. The musicians on stage were having fun with each other. They were having fun playing with Eddie Vedder. The crowd had a fun time watching this. It was just good times had by all. Um, musically, it had the punk feel, it had the speed, it had the aggression. Uh, I found those things to be enjoyable. I did. The song itself, very simple, all based around a single chord. Not a whole lot of deviation from that. Nothing wrong with that as long as it's not trying to pretend to be something it's not. You know, I hate it when bands write these simple songs and they say, Oh, it's a masterpiece and this, this is the greatest song we ever wrote. If that's the greatest song you ever wrote, you need to put away the instruments and retire. Because that was not a masterpiece in any way, shape, or form. No, and, and I don't feel like this is what they were trying to say at all. Uh, they weren't trying to say anything about the song other than, let's have a good time. And they did. Uh, I like the tone from all the guitars. Uh, the, the drumming was solid. The drummer actually had some pretty sweet fills in there. I, I gotta say, uh, the drummer had some great setups and some great fills. Uh, couldn't really hear the bass. I mean, I, I saw him, but I couldn't really hear him. Um, but that could be a good thing because that means he didn't do anything wrong and he didn't stick out. So we'll we'll give them the pass on that. Um, I'm not sure about the lead vocalist. I I, I don't know if I like his vocals. I I, they, eh. I hesitate to use the word obnoxious, but it, it was a little obnoxious, a little overly done, if you know what I mean. It could have been a little more subdued. Eddie Vedder's vocals, on the other hand, were great on this song. Like, fantastic. His his vocals fit this song perfectly. Um, one other thing I, I gotta mention, I I, 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 I kind of dug it. Uh, when the vocalist went back to do the keyboard and playing all those all those uh, semitone notes, you know, those flat two notes, all the way through the entire thing, or he would do like the sevens underneath. It was just you know those those half step double notes. Really cool. I, 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 I dig dissonance like that. I do. I, I always have. I, I, as long as it's not overly done. Like, if they do an entire song based on dissonance, I'm not going to like it. But, you know, you put those little things in there like that. And it was like, what, four measures? Not a big deal. I, I, I dug it. I thought it was cool. So, yeah, it was a good time. Good time had by all. And I think that's what it was meant to be. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's why it's getting to 7.3. It was a really good job. It was. It was a really good job of a pretty good song, but it was still a really good job nonetheless. So, 7.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.